Welcome to State Attack. Let's take a look at using our device maintenance area on the Note 8. We can access this one of a few different ways. We can actually add this as an edge panel on our edge panels. So here is the device maintenance edge panel. We have access to the battery, performance mode, storage, memory, and device security. And then we can even optimize our device by tapping optimize if it needs to happen so in the bottom right hand corner. We can also access this by coming into our settings app. And then we can tap on our device maintenance, which is in the middle of the screen. And we have access to all those same tabs right here in this panel. There's also an added bonus by coming into the settings app. We can actually tap on the top right hand corner and add a shortcut to the home screen. So that will actually add an app icon out in the home screen to our device maintenance area right on the Note 8. So what's cool about these sections is it actually gives us the health and performance of our device. So on the battery section, we can see what's using all of our battery. We can even enable some of the power saving modes that we go over in the power saving modes video. Down below where you see app power monitor, this is showing us all of the apps that are using the battery the most. So the ones that are keeping the screen on the bright or the ones that are actually running in the background. And if we tap on save power, it's actually going to sleep those apps. And what they mean by sleeping is putting the app in a state where you can still access it, but you won't receive any notifications or updates on those apps while they're in a sleep status. For example, with the sleep mode, if you had Facebook in here that was taking up a lot of your app power, if you put Facebook to sleep, you wouldn't receive any notifications or updates on Facebook until you opened it again. And once you opened Facebook, it would take Facebook out of sleep, and then you begin getting your notifications all over again. So you'd kind of have to keep an eye on this. And you can also set unmonitored apps. And what they mean by this is these apps will not be monitored by the battery. So if you wanted Facebook to just continually be running in the background and have full access to your battery and send you all the notifications in the world, you can add Facebook here to the unmonitored app section by tapping on add and then finding the app that you wanted to add. And the same thing with always sleeping apps, you can always set an app to sleep and it will never be able to run in the background and it won't receive updates and notifications. You can add that in that section. Now the performance mode, we can actually do an optimized, a game, entertainment, and high performance. Tapping on any one of these will show us what it's going to do to our device. For example, game mode is going to increase the brightness, set our screen resolution, and enable the game launcher. If we go for high performance, it's going to increase our brightness and then change our screen resolution. And some of these even have the options of customizing it. So if I tap on customize, I can see how much I want to increase the brightness and what resolution I want it to set to. Storage will show us all of the storage, and so here is our internal storage. We can see how many documents, images, audio, videos, and apps we have. And if we happen to have an SD card inserted in our device, we can actually tap on SD card, and it's going to give us all the same readouts for what's on our SD card. With memory, if we tap in memory, it's actually going to perform a check on our memory to see if we can clear up any of it. Now, the Note 8 has 6 gigabytes of RAM, so I don't think that you would typically run into any RAM issues. But if you want to clean up the memory, you see it's going to shut down a lot of the background processes and free up some of that memory. In this circumstance, it cleaned up 535 megabytes, giving us a total usage of 2 and 4 gigabytes free. Now, with the Note 8, it actually has a device security, and if we tap on that, we can enable it and then we can scan our phone and it's going to enhance our privacy, give us our ultimate protection, and then make things safer in the digital world by giving us that protection on our phone. And if we tap on scan phone, what it's going to do is go ahead and scan our phone. You see it's giving us a progress indication up at the top of the screen. And then once it's done, it'll give us a report on what it's found. So it didn't find any threats and you can see now the secure has been updated, last scanned at 3.30 p.m. We can enhance our privacy going into the settings. We have our secure folder options. So this is something that we can install on our device and we can go through that in a later video. We can have anti-malware if we tap here. It'll actually take us in. We can actually download McAfee if we wanted to. So it takes us here to get our free trial. And then the last area, tap here to see for keeping ourselves safe. We have our McAfee mobile security. If we wanted to do that, we have the option here in this panel as well. You also notice that with the device security, it's going to scan every so often, and it did put a notification up at the top of the screen that our scan was complete, and we can dismiss that if we wanted to. And then now our device is unoptimized, and if we tap on Optimize Now, it's going to go ahead and run that and see if anything has been done. It's going to close a few background apps and even free up some of our storage and memory. Once we're done, go ahead and tap Done, and that puts our phone back at a device maintenance score of 100, which mainly means our device is running in tip-top shape and it's fully optimized. 
So that is how you use your device maintenance area on your Galaxy Note 8. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to State of Tech and give us a thumbs up if you found this video useful.